Welcome back everybody to another YouTube video today. I'm going to be teaching you how you can make a really cool short horror game in Roblox Studio. This was brought to me by a comment and I forgot his name, but it will be up screen. So yeah, thank you whoever that person was. I'm sorry if I forgot your name, but thank you for that suggestion. And today we're going to be making a horror map. See, in the previous video, um, in the map speed build, I made this, but just earlier today, I added this corridor along here, which we're going to be doing some stuff to it later. And this is going to be part one of the actual scripting tutorials of how to do a horror map. So I really hope you enjoy. So without further ado, let's get into it. So what we want to do first is we want to make these these things interactable. So you can press a button to open them and they'll just open. So we can do that by using proximity prompt. Okay, so what you wanna do, you wanna go over to the cupboard or like in this case for this map, just go to, over to this cupboard right here and just click on it. And what you wanna do is you want to write this and you wanna call, you wanna rename it to closed door. Make sure it's capitalized for each word and make sure there's no spaces. And now what you wanna do, you wanna make the open door so when you click on it, um, it's gonna open. So just duplicate it by pressing Control D, then rotate it, rotate it just like that, and then you can just move it to the position that you want. Okay, so once I've created this, it now should look something a bit like this, a bit like the open position. So this is pretty much, you can do this whatever you like, but this is what it's gonna look like once it's opened. So you, what you can do with this, make sure anchor's on, can collide's on, and make sure to put transparency to one. And now you just wanna group these both together, just like that. And now you've got the thingy here. Don't really know, well you got a model here. And now you can just rename this to, what am I gonna rename it? I'm gonna just rename it to door, door pair. Oh yeah, and before I do that, I just forgot that I need to change this to just door and this to opened. I think it's yeah. I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna call it myself opened door. Okay, so once you've done that, you've now got the name doors, open door and door. Inside door, you want to insert a script. And once again, insert another thing. And now here, you're going to insert proximity prompt. All right, so in the script, you want to write local prox prompt prompt equal to script dot parent. Oops, script dot parent dot proximity prompt. Boom. And now you would go down the line, write local door local door is equal to script dot parent oh script dot parent and then you go down another line oops go down another line right lo local opened door equal on oh, no. the typing's not on point today script dot parent all right, so once you've written script or parent, you want to write script or parent, another parent, dot, open door. Open door. All right, so now we've done the first, we've done the defining, and we've done the variables. We can now go down, we can write, instead of local, you can write just, oh my god, prox prompt, dot, dot triggered, dot triggered, colon connect to the function and then you're going to write a bracket inside it's like start a starting bracket you go down you're going to write door door transparent trans door dot trans transparency is equal to 1 you write door dot can collide Door, oh no, I spelled it wrong. Door dot can collide is equal to false. 
and then you're gonna write open door dot transparency is equal to zero and then open door dot can collide is equal to true boom you're gonna go, go, go down you can write oops right wait to wait to and you're gonna write and this now you can write like a message here like a note you're gonna write cool down and then so when you write right wait to the code just stops for two seconds or whatever you put in here and then you can just write a note that that's telling the code that the, the, the well the code ignores the note but it's good for like tidiness and stuff like that all right so after that you want to go down you can write door oops door trans oh no door dot transparency let me spell that wrong i need to put door like that door dot transparency is equal to no no is equal to zero and then you're gonna write door dot can collide equal to false oh no actually i just forgot it's true and then opened door dot transparency is equal to one and then open door dot can collide is equal to false and that should be it i think and now you can just go ahead and play it and you can see it says e interact let's press e and boom there you go that's easy and working and after a while it actually closes again which is quite cool so what we can do is it's actually quite quick so we can change that by doing this we can make this five let's say and let's press play press play again and let's see if it works so what should happen is um it stays open for five seconds then it closes let's have a look one two three four five and it closes there you go and i mean we can do that again so what you can just do you can copy and paste it to this one i'm gonna do that right now but there you go i think that's quite cool you can just take some you can take some stuff we're gonna be adding that later you can just take some stuff from it you can use it to unlock something else i don't know but we're gonna figure that out in a later part so that is pretty much the first bit of this tutorial now i want to go into something else which is actually quite cool so we now want to go into something else and that's something else is making your own body visible so in lots of horror games you can actually see your own body and it's really cool so we're gonna be doing that right now okay let's get started so to do this to do this you now want to go to the scroll down all the way to start a player and you want to go inside and you want to go to start a character start a character scripts right and you want to click plus and you want to insert a local script just like that and you want to call this local script anything but i'm just going to call it first person first person just like that actually i'm going to make it first person view go to the script and you want to write a note so hyphen hyphen Let's have a look if it's working. Oh, and there we go. It's working, I guess. I really didn't expect that to work, to be honest, because I, I felt I felt writing writing that, I felt like I messed up a few things. But there we go, it's working, and you can see your own body, which is the coolest bit. All right, before we end this video, I know you're thinking, Oh, Ryan, this is really annoying because it's really far back behind the body, and it's very zoomed, very zoomed out. Well, we can change that by going back to the script, and where it says, here minus one. Oh, sorry it well i don't know if you've written the script like if you've written the script as in like if you've written it um just by yourself just from watching this then uh it's gonna have zero so make sure to change that from zero oops zero to 
minus one. And if that's not enough for you, you can just change it to minus two. I'm gonna go with minus 2.3. I'm gonna play that game and see if it works. All right, so I'm in the game and this is exactly what I want to be honest. I don't want to see my body too much, but I also want to also I also want to be able to fully see like the view. Only if you look down you can see your body, which I really like about this. So I'm gonna I'm gonna keep that. And then also I'm gonna make sure to change the FOV, the field of view, to 70. Or well, I think that's a bit I think I'm gonna make it I'm gonna make it I'm gonna make it 85. Maybe, maybe that's a bit better. 85. There we go. I like that. That's really good. So now I can see my body and everything. So guys, I really hope you enjoyed that video. And I really hope to see you next time where we are going to be making some dialogue and also some keys to find where we can unlock the door. And then guys, I really hope you enjoyed the tutorial and I'll see you in the next one.